What is it? Forget about it. It's like uh, if you agree with someone, you know, like Raquel Welch is one great piece of ass. Forget about it. But then if you disagree, like a Lincoln is better than a Cadillac, forget about it. You know? But then it's also like if something is the greatest thing in the world, like me get those peppers, forget about it, you know? But it's also like saying go to hell, too. Like, you know, like, uh, hey, Bully, you got a one inch pecker, and Bully says, forget about it. Forget about it. Pull, forget about it. <laughs> shalom, shalom, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, or Kakradash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, break a thumb to the whole four legs. Shalom, shalom. Today's video is going to be entitled Pair Bonding. Forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. You know, I played that clip before I got this. And, you know, usually, you know, when I, when I see certain things on the Internet, you know, before YouTube, you know, took my community post down. I would have just made a post about this. But, you know, now I'm going to just start doing like, you know, one or two quick, quick, quick minute videos because I still want to show this, man. This is a, a tender insight. As you can see at the top left, this is a 26 year old female. Right. Been on Tinder for 188 days, not even a full year. This is. <laughs> That's what 188 days. That's probably about five, six months. Yeah. But as you can see, swiped on Tinder, 582 right swipes, 301 matches, 171 chats, 54 dates. What to say? Zero relationships, but 37 different sexual partners, man. Zero marriages. <laughs> you see? Now I know I know some brothers they they get on the apps you know they deal with the apps and you know deal deal with the harlots on the apps but you know this for me I don't I don't even fool around with that shit because I know I know how the game goes you see this is what this is what Elder Malcolm describes as the cock carousel you understand but this is this is ruining the ability to pair bond. Because it, it just makes them more and more whores. That's why a lot of these women, they have issues with being alone. Because, because they know all the, all, all the fucked up shit they did. All the, all the whole activities that, 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 that they took part in, man. Those, those demons plague their mind. But as, as the title of the video is, pair bonding, forget about it, man. I got the quick definition of pair bonding. It says in biology, a pair bond is the strong affinity that develops in some special species between a mating pair, often leading to the production and rearing of offspring and potentially a lifelong bond. You see, it's not a lot of life, lifelong bonds being formed amongst the modern women because they have the avenues to do shit like this, man. 54 different dates. But fucking 37 different niggas all in 188 days span, man. Let me let me get the exact number. Guys, so it say, you know, how many months is 188 days? That's 6.1 months, right? So let's break it down. Let me get the calculator. One second. Okay, 188. That's six months. So that's what 37 partners in six months. That's six different dudes a month, man. <laughs> hey, 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 and you have niggas out there that, that want to stay in America under under any circumstances. Should you not want to stay here, man? But let's go back. It says a pair bond is a strong affinity that develops in some species between the mating pair often leading to the production and rearing of offspring and potentially a lifelong bond. Pair bonding is a term coined in the 1940s that is frequently used in sociobiology and evolutionary biology circles, which is bullshit. The term often implies either a lifelong social monogamous relationship or st stage of mating interaction. It's sometimes used in re reference to human relationships because obviously, you know, when you, when you, uh, when you when you deflower a virgin, they they become attached to you. 
whether they know it or not, there's a chemical in their brain that, you know, that reacts to your to your vibration. But once once that's polluted with all type of different men, they never get that same they never get that same feeling again. See, that's why women always women always remember the first the first dude she slept with. But she may not remember the the past three, three, four, five niggas she slept with <laughs> because of avenues like this, man. You know, I ain't gonna make this too long. Just want to share this information. Like I said, you know, post, you know, things that I see on the internet, I usually would do a community post, but you know, I'm gonna just do a little little short videos, man. All praises, honor, and glory it goes here. How about Shimmy I was shy by Shimba Kakadash, the blonder city apostles, the blonder city elders, a great millstone. Yeah, how about Shimmy Al Shah? Break a thumb to the whole full leg. Shalom, shalom.